This video is about angle relationships and specifically complementary angles and how to use algebra to find missing terms and missing um, angles. So um, just as a refresher, complementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 90. So it always adds up to 90. And this is going to be important to know. Um, just like you knew in triangles, it added up to 180. You'll need complementary angles to add up to 90. So it might be two like this. Could be a 30, 60. Um, could be two angles but you're told that they're complementary. They're just not next to each other. So um, complementary always add up to 90. And so this is saying that angle A plus angle B equals 90. So angle X plus 40 is gonna equal 90. And then you subtract the 40s and so you get X equals 50. So it's a simple one step equation. Um, you can just look at this, I know, and say 90 minus 40 equals 50, but setting it up like this as an equation makes it easier whenever you get to more difficult, challenging problems. So um, again, you can probably in your head do this, but let's set it up. So 75 plus X equals what? 90. And so subtract 75, subtract 75, and x equals 15. So this is 15, and it looks like it's 15. And so this one is 53 plus x equals 90. And this right angle here, this little box, tells me that that's equal to 90. That's how I know that these are right angles. And so subtract 53, subtract 53. So x equals... 37. So 37 degrees, and that looks like it's right. So this one, now we get into an algebraic term. This is a two-step um, problem, but the concept is the same. So we're going to take 35 plus 4x plus 7 equals what? 90 because of this right box. And so now I have to combine my like terms. My like terms are 35 and 7. And so that's 42 plus 4x equals 90. I don't have any other x's, so it's just 4x. And now I'm going to subtract 42, subtract 42. So I get 4x equals, oops, 4x equals 48. So I'm going to divide by 4, divide by 4, and you already have in your head x equals 12. Now, it may ask me, the question may ask, what is x? x is 12. The question may ask me is, what is the measure of y, x, z? Now that is a different question. Now I have to substitute this back in, and, um, and it's going to be 48, right? Nope. 48 plus 7. Uh, 12 times 4 is 48. Oops. Plus 7 is 55. So this is 55. And that makes sense because 55 plus 35 is 90. So that would be an easy question to answer would be the 55. But what is X? X is here. So now we don't have any just numbers by themselves. We just have two expressions. So I've got x plus 3 plus 2x minus 3 equals how much? The square box tells me it's 90. So I combine my x's. Remember, this is 1x. 1x plus 2x is 3x. And now 3 minus 3 is just 0. So I'm done with that. And so now I'm going to divide by 3. And so x equals 30. And that fits nice and neat. So angle 1 is 30 times 2. 60 minus 3 is 57. And 30 plus 3 is 33. So those are the angle measures. So you have to substitute back in. Okay, this one is the last one. And so now we have 5x plus 25 
equals, the square box tells me that it's 90. So subtract 25, subtract 25. So 5x equals 9a, so 5, 6. So divide by 5, divide by 5, and x equals uh, 65. I should know this in my head. That's what I thought, 13. So, six, so 13 times 5 is 65. So that would be the total amount there. And divide by 5 is 13. So x equals 13. So now you should be ready to know how to find the x or the angle amount in complementary angles.